Welcome to The Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware and this is Brian Grindstaff. Brian is actually on our uh, head of all of our inside sales support, um, all the part sales, the boilerwarehouse.com. This is the man that is behind all of that on e-commerce. What I'm excited about today is that number one, we get to be in our new warehouse uh, with all of our, uh, gosh, you're seeing tons of gasket kits and all kinds of parts back in here but also to talk about gaskets. Um, and, and Brian, in this industry, there's so many things that you can put a gasket with, and, and I thought it would be good to just walk through the different types, I think, of, of gaskets yep. and sealing and be able to just really see uh, how all of these things uh, go with the steam industry and into the boilers and et cetera. So maybe just go ahead and start which yeah. one you want. So I picked a few common gaskets that are in the industry here just to kind of present. Um, you know, there's all sorts of different boiler designs out there. There's all sorts of, uh, and that's steam and hot water. Mm -hmm. um, some people have certain form gaskets that are uh, not as common. It's only specific to their pieces of equipment. Mm -hmm. And we can always uh, help out with those kind of things too. But a lot of the gaskets that you see here are commonly used between all different types of boilers and, right. and mainly steam boilers is what I've got right here presented. Okay. Um, so uh, first, um, I've got handhold gaskets here. Uh, there's, there's four different versions of the same handhold gasket. Okay. All of these gaskets right here are uh, three and a half by four and a half by half inch elliptical shaped gaskets. Okay. Um, I've got a Blue Max Teflon. I've got a uh, spiral wound uh, metallic flexitalic gasket. I've got a uh, Topagi um, neoprene EPDM gasket. And then I've got a graphite uh, Topagi or a uh, uh, same thing as a uh, Black Max graphite gasket. Okay. Um, so the differences are, I mean, they're obviously look different materials, sure. they, all, they all fit the same size handhold. Right. Um, this gasket right here is rated for uh, 450 PSI steam. Okay. These flexitalic gaskets can be rated up to a thousand or more pounds depending on the design and the thickness of what, what you, you're looking for. Um, these neoprene gaskets are 100 PS, 180 PSI steam. Okay. Uh, so for a bulk of the commercial fire tube market, this is what you see. They're okay. usually 150 PSI design boilers. That's kind of what you see on a regular basis. Yep. Um, and then these are actually rated for 2000 PSI. Okay, the graphite. Um, yeah. The graphites. Mm -hmm. So uh, you got different types and different materials based on uh, what pressure you're running. Some people have a preference thing. You know, mm -hmm. some people may take this graphite gasket and put it on a 200 or 150 pound boiler instead of that neoprene. Okay. It's just what they like. Yeah. So, yeah. but um, you don't want to put 150 with a 250. No. Pound, can't right? do that. That's right. <laughs> no. You got to make sure it's rated sure for it's the rated. pressure. That's yep. right. Okay. So, pressure and temperature. Yep. So, that was basically the hand holes, right? Yep. Um, and then you have Manway. Yep. Same thing with the Manway. I've got two 12 by 16 gaskets here. Mm -hmm. One's a graphite material, one's the same uh, EPDM neoprene, mm -hmm. uh, same story, 180 PSI, 2000 PSI. Mm -hmm. uh, so temperature and pressure, uh, same thing. You just mm -hmm. got to make sure that whatever gasket you're selecting is rated for the temperature and the pressure. Okay. Yep. Good. Um, yeah, so from there, uh, we've got some same thing here. Here's a common gasket too. Yep. Uh, these are McDonnell Miller gaskets. Um, for the 150s, uh, Teflon, non-asbestos, or Garlock, some people call them Garlock gaskets. Yeah. Um, same rate, well actually this is rated for a higher temperature, but they go on the same bodies. Okay. There's no real need for it because they're both rated, or the bodies are rated for the same temperature and pressure. Um, some people just prefer the Teflon. It comes off easier. These, yep. these things can kind of get baked get on. baked on, yes, yep. yes. Took um, a few of those off in my day. Yep, uh, so those are the 150-14s, 9268, same story. Teflon, non-asbestos. Mm -hmm. um, flange gaskets, uh, same thing. You've got a uh, spiral wound flange gasket. Mm -hmm. um, this one happens to be a um, 150 pound. This is a 150 pound non-asbestos. Okay. So they're rated for the same pressure, mm -hmm. same type, 
Um, this one's got a, a ceiling uh, face right here for the flange. Mm -hmm. um, this one doesn't. It's just raised face and made to, to compress for that seal. Just two different things for the same, mm -hmm. same process. Different price. Yeah, and they are different price points. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yep. Uh, that Garlock material is a little bit cheaper than the, than the uh, uh, spiral wound. Okay. Yep. Got it. And then here on the front, we've got different materials used for um, fireside or hot air applications or cold air for that matter. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a uh, fiberglass knitted rope. Uh, it's actually knitted together. This mm -hmm. fiberglass product is usually rated for about a thousand degrees. Mm -hmm. Um, usually to seal up uh, the flue side gases on the boiler, mm -hmm. uh, front doors, rear doors on, on fire tubes, yep. um, any kind of uh, stack connection, mm -hmm. um, you know, those kind of things tend to do really well with this uh, based on the diameter that the boiler requires. Right, right. Um, blanket, same story. Fiberglass blanket, um, That and both of these can be made in different materials for different uh, temperature ratings. Right. So this uh, this fiberglass is typically a thousand degrees. If you wanted to go to say like a ceramic, mm -hmm. uh, a ceramic rope could be twenty three hundred degrees. Okay. Same way with the blanket. Fiberglass a thousand, ceramic gets up to that twenty three hundred mark. Okay. And the designation on that might be where you're putting it. Mm -hmm. If it's in the direct flame, you may want to make sure that it's a little bit higher rated. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's uh, you know, at the end of a four pass boiler, um, temperature on your flue uh, stack might be a different different temperature. Sure. You may be able to get by with a different material. Right, right. Um, and then we've got some different types of uh, flat tape gaskets as well. Um, mm -hmm. This right here is a ladder tape or a drop warp gasket, some people call it. And it's actually got a center section that comes apart to go around bolt holes. Mm. Um, so it's made to lay over and lay you can over. bolt through it. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> that right there has got an adhesive backing to it. Mm -hmm. um, so you could peel that off and just kind of set it in place and it'll hold itself in place. Yep. You yep. know, every, everybody's got their, their tricks. They want to sure. use spray adhesive or they want to use a uh, RTV silicone. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, you know, everybody's got their, their favorites and we're here to serve them all on those kind of things. Sure, sure. So, and then last? Oh yeah, uh, we've got a uh, PTFE joint sealant. Um, okay. And these come in very varying degrees of thicknesses and uh, widths. Uh, this right here looks to be like a one inch uh, mm -hmm. by a quarter inch. Mm -hmm. And um, these can be rated for up to 3,000 uh, PSI, 600 mm. degree F. Nice. Um, it's got an adhesive backing to it. Yeah. Um, a little bit more expensive, but it's kind of one of those products that if you have a problem and you can't get something to seal, this is the go-to uh, toolbox trick right. to be able to get a better seal on some stuff where you normally wouldn't be able to use a normal no more gasket for the application. Sure. Real quick, maybe we go over this. Number one, mm -hmm. you can obviously buy all these things individual at the boilerwarehouse.com, but yep. something that people are going to more and more are the uh, gasket kits. And so yep. everything, of course, we have a ton of them right here, yep. but everything actually goes in the box, makes it easy. They can get these things, you know, one, two times a year if they need to. Maybe talk a little bit real quick about those. Of course. So yeah, we, we generally like to package solutions up for our customers to make it easy for them to get everything they need for an open and close all in one kit. Sure. Um, so yeah, in, in certain scenarios, like, and we've got all sorts of manufacturers that we do kits for, um, just a few is Cleaver Brooks, uh, York Shipley, Hearst, Johnston, Superior, mm -hmm. all these guys have have kits yeah. that they that they put out, right? And it'll include your water side gaskets for your hand holes. Mm -hmm. It'll include your McDonald Miller gasket. So whenever you take that off and you're inspecting your low water cutoff, you have a gas a fresh gasket to put it back. Yep. And then you've got your door and blanket gaskets based sure. on whether you need that blanket for an insulating material for an inspection box mm -hmm. or uh, just rope that goes around the doors. Mm -hmm. um, for all those manufacturers, we create kits for those to where you get a nice, neat little box and mm -hmm. you can pull it out and do what you need to do. Sure. And also some adhesive comes in there, if I remember right. For the, yeah, it depends yeah, on, on it, which ones. Uh, yeah, our kits, uh, some of them have RTV in them. 
uh, it's it's what the manufacturer kit recommends. Mm -hmm. um, like I know Superior, they they like to use an RTV with their kits. Mm -hmm. um, uh, some some other kits we throw in some spray adhesive in mm -hmm. there. Uh, mm -hmm. It just really depends on which manufacturer you're dealing with. Something that I do yeah. like that is coming on BoilerWarehouse.com is a subscription service to where you'll actually be able to order those yeah. gaskets and then say I'd like to have these once a year, twice yep. a year, three times a year at this How, date, and however often you want them, and it'll come. So yep. that's a pretty cool thing that's coming. Be watching for that on BoilerWarehouse.com. Yep. Well, Brian, appreciate uh, you hanging out with us and uh, giving us a little bit of information on all of these gaskets, and we'll see you next time on the Boiling Point. Well, appreciate Brian hanging out with us and talking a little bit about the gaskets. Very common product, obviously, on boilers and in boiler rooms. Um, and something that you want to make sure that you are uh, replacing and anytime you open clothes make sure that you have these gaskets on your shelf. Now we've got some classes coming up uh, on Boiler University make sure you go out and check out that but also our online classes are continuing to be very very popular so make sure you go out look at those. One other thing American Boiler Manufacturer ABMA uh, Boiler 2022. In 2022, there's going to be a trade show. Go check that out. Start getting information and making plans to be there. Um, lots of boiler manufacturers and supporting products are going to be there. So that would be awesome if we could see you there. We will be there. And the last thing, BoilerWarehouse.com. Check out BoilerWarehouse.com, all the products, and or if you need something, give us a call. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter if you don't mind. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and as always, share those videos. And if you just want to play around with these, you can throw them. Hey, I'm Brandon. This week on Steam Culture, we're... land them somewhere and have a little game with it. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.